let's begin with the recap. So, last time, um, you guys successfully saved a child from being brainwormed, and uh, no, that was the time before last. In previously on Mint Wanderings. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Pedantic asshole. Uh, incidentally, I've been meaning to mention this, but uh, Torpo Lily gets uh, inspiration for pulling that off. Uh, for pulling what off? The heist. The heist. The, the oh, okay. Heist. God, what's inspiration do again? Fuck. Uh, it lets you just have um, insp- um, advantage for uh, a roll. Yeah, okay. you can spend it anytime you want to get advantage on a roll. Or you can actually give it to another player who needs. Why would oh. I ever fucking do that? I know. I didn't actually know about because that. Because someone's about to save your life and they need a little help. Yeah, they can fuck <laughs> themselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lily lets herself die out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> Lily is totally okay. the kind of person who would let herself die. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that, actually. That tracks, yeah. Yeah, a few of you should have inspirations just lying around that you haven't spent. I think I, I might still have inspiration from literally months ago, real time. Uh, I've Same. spent I've spent it because the last time I got it was when I talked to the root of the mother tree. I definitely haven't used mine yet. So, all right, just reminding you that it exists because I don't hand it out too often. Anyway, you successfully saved a kid from being brainwormed. Um, discussed a few things with him, and then decided that the next person you should pursue is the one who has um, ended up going north into exile. You didn't find him in the main city, but you do have a basic description and name, or at least a name he used to use, and that's enough to at least use a scrying spell. Unfortunately, that failed, so you've moved on to the other thing you're doing, in the north, which is uh, finding Shara Grava before the worm cult can. Fortunately, you ran into an old acquaintance of Lily's, who is the dragon. A fucking trash dragon. Who uh, had hired her and her adventuring group to. Uh, Travel north into the Vanishing Mountains, back in Kara's deck, and then turned on them and killed at least a couple of them. Wait, hold on. I'm still confused about this story. Did he like? De- did he deliberately turn on them and attack them? Or I thought it was like he started fighting a giant or something, and then they got caught in the crossfire. Oh, no. He fought the giant, then killed them as well. Because they tried not... to fight him. He did not... Um focus on the just the giant or at the very least he did not um he did not care about friendly fire okay i think that's the best way to put it okay and um all right so we're looking for an american drink no wait we have uh... as it I turns by out the name this... of long as it turns out, this dragon happened to be in town and also happened to know where Shara Grava is. And according to him, he is the only person who knows where it is. And he hasn't told anyone because he wants to use it, use the runes as his lair. Sort of a thing for silver dragons. And so... Um, Despite Lily's misgivings, you accepted uh, his aid, followed his directions to the mountain under which Shara Grava hides, and passed through a barrier as if it wasn't even there. Whereas uh, the dragon and your companion, uh, Silky, were unable to get through. Hmm for being not cool enough and too cool, respectively. 
Inside, you found what's on the screen here, a city perfectly preserved in a massive valley, so tall that birds can fly beneath the buildings. And seeing no signs of life, at least not any sort of intelligent life, you uh, crossed from the outer valley in onto the central, uh, what would you even call that? Hill? Spike? Something. And you climb to the top, to the largest building that you could see, and inside was a massive golden statue of a man with regal bearing and the uh, facial features of the sort of people you found in this area. Uh, this, the statue's outfit is very obviously wealthy or would be if it weren't made out of pure gold, which, you know, different kind of uh, wealth there. Yeah. And as you entered that chamber, a voice rang out from nowhere at all and said, Welcome, chosen of Ja. It has been a long time since anyone worthy has come to Sharagrava. And before you respond, I would like to make a note that Aurelia hears this speech in a dialect of High Elven. Lily hears this in the uh, sort of goblin patois the mix of goblin and common spoken in the uh, ghetto where she grew up. And with Grenache, it's something similar, the mix of common and orcish that his village spoke. And what Lake hears is a ringing musical language. You could <laughs> swear you've never heard spoken out loud. Finally comes up! <laughs> You understand every word of it. Wait, what, what hang the, on. What the I fuck was that? I don't understand. No, no, what the All of you are hearing this. Your own version. And but why, why would I really hear it in Elven? Because until she was around four or five, she was raised by elves. Don't they speak? Do they speak Elven? Yes! They, they did, yeah. As their main language? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, somebody just sang into my head and I understood the basic concept. What the fuck? Wait, I just feel vaguely offended. <laughs> it is <laughs> not... It is a, the, the accent is perfect in all of your cases, by the way. <laughs> Since when was the orcish tongue singing? Wait, you didn't. That wasn't orcish. That was. I don't know what the fuck that was. Why did it sing at me? Why did I understand it like it was words? I just what? feel vaguely offended. O offended by what? It spoke to me in fucking goblin. Wait, what? Look, it's well, like magic, a mix of guys. goblin it, it and common, really. Yes, but I obviously I've... spoke to us all in different languages. Yeah, but, but you, you know, it's not that you important. You are confused. I see. I'm no, not like, I, confused. No, I, I just want to clarify. Get... They're all confused. I figured it I, out. I get. I, I, I'm not confused. It's obviously I, magic bullshit. It is magic bullshit. But like, why is mine singing? I have literally never heard that before. I mean. Uh, I, what you hear now is spoken in the oldest and most essential language. I have no control over what you hear, but I do control the content of the speech. All right, fair oh enough. You're gonna use the ultimate insult on us. <laughs> <laughs> You are from mixed background. 
Yes, I assume if you all hear different things. Yes. I don't want to be where Lake is from. In fact, most of us are from mixed backgrounds personally, so. Yes. You are from Karo's deck. I can see the mark of the giants on two of you. Wait, what? Wait, what? Do we know what the mark of the giants is? No. Okay. Okay. What's the mark of the giants? What is the mark of the giants? Yeah. Maybe it's like green skin. That would explain to the two, those two. Have you not heard the history? The history of humanity? No, but you're going to tell me anyway. Very well. <laughs> I didn't know you were psychic too, Lily. In the beginning, there were only dragons. But in the beginning, the dragons ruled over all. And though they were wise, and though they were long-lived, they knew that to control the le- smaller species was to limit them. And so they eventually relinquished their control, though not without argument and conflict. Soon after they relinquished their control, the giants carved out a massive empire, mostly upon the southern hemisphere of this world. The two of you with green skin, they are the results of experiments conducted by the giants to create more useful servants. When the giants were eventually (laughs) overthrown, the results of their experiments remain. So today I learned that Lily's a science experiment. Do you want to lose your legs? Because this is how you lose your legs. <laughs> and probably your arms, too. <clears throat> huh. right. well, all I'm saying is I am nobody's servant, thank you. Yes. No longer. And it has been many thousands of years since these giants were in, had their empire. I believe it was hmm, only just before, or was it just after, when the elves returned from the Feywild? Wait, returned? Yes. During the reign of the dragons, some humans left this planet and entered the Feywild, there forever changed by its energies. Uh, <laughs> elves apart, human! All what? elves apart, human! I don't... Uh, he's... So you're saying... What did the, the Aladrin are descended from humans changed by the Feywild? Yes. That is why all of you can interbreed. Mm, that does explain a lot. It does I explain mean, I, a lot. So does just saying magic and dropping the mic, but um <laughs> I guess that also that also works. Can't yeah. believe elves are just uh, magic humans. Yeah, it's bullshit, isn't it? All right. Um, well, very neat history lesson. Dropping some real truth bombs on us. Um, so, who are you? I. I am Shara Grava. Uh, In life, I had another name, but I have given it up in service to my great lord, 
the statue you see before you. How's it going, Mr. Gravy? Um, what's his name? He is Onos. Oh, for a second, I thought you were going to say his name was he, in which case that would be very confusing. But <laughs> um, Onos, all right. And uh, who's uh, tell, tell tell us more about Onos or about something else? We don't really know what's going on here, to be honest. <laughs> Amazing. Nobody tells us. You shit. have seen Jia in person. Yeah, I can sense her energies upon you. We're pretty awesome. She like was that. wonderful. Yet, you do not know about Onos. Lord of the Sky, Jaws' greatest husband. Oh, okay. Oh, How are those deals? Um, Wait, greatest right. husband? This implies more than one husband. Don't judge. No, I'm not no, judging. Much. That's awesome. And Ja is the greatest of the wives of Onos. She yeah, is a pretty great polyamory thing going on there. Yeah. Uh, well, polygamy, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's more right. Well, and polygamy is literally multiple marriages rather than just multiple relationships. So, there, yes, yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Well, I'm I'm open minded. That's 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 fine. Um. What is that? Mean. Yeah, what's this about a sky boy? Well, thousands of years ago, Sharagrava was the most holy city of Onos upon the soil of Jia. But then the frost came creeping in from the north. And the land became unlivable. And while the city itself is preserved through his holy power, the city cannot live on buildings and trees alone. Oh, yeah, look where I continue to forget. Ah. The most important part. Yeah. The copyright infringement. <laughs> Speak for yourself. But, uh... And so... Great magic is placed upon the city to preserve it for the time when the frost recedes once again. And this may once again be the center of worship for my lord. I've, I've got bad news for you. I wait for that day still. Gonna be I waiting wait for a long time. For one other thing. Oh. For worthy souls to arrive. Well, tell me take, when you find them. And take the three trials and claim the holy artifact at the heart of the city. What is this huh. artifact? Yeah, I knew that would get your attention. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. It is the rod of Lord Onos's might. Tell me more. It is a single weapon that can become a dozen different weapons and useful items. One that can strike fear into the hearts of enemies and blast those foolish enough to face you in combat into the sky. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sounds fancy. Sounds like there's a trick to it. Sounds like we're taking those trials. I was hoping you would. <laughs> it has been a long time since anyone worthy enough to enter here has approached the door. 
and those the dragon brings until now have not been worthy. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm yep. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and, and say that I am not surprised by that revelation at all. Look, anything to stay away from that trash dragon for as long as possible <laughs> is an improvement in my book. Um, all right. Hmm. Well, things to okay uh well, actually first thing first question here actually um because you know the, the artifact trials all very fascinating i'm super interested in that however i am actually more interested in if you have some more information about uh this this dragon and his shenanigans um like does he what else does he do does he like kill people who he brings here he, or anything he kills like that people well okay look that was I know about that, but this is potentially a different circumstance. My Do not sight. make light of my trauma, okay? I'm not making light of it. I'm saying it's not instructive here. Can we here. please not interrupt the my magic talking yes. statue? Thank you. Yes. My sight is limited beyond the barrier that surrounds the city. I can only say that many in the company of that dragon have come and failed to pass through the barrier because I did not sense the divine energies that you have with you. Okay. And are those Each just... time, they Sorry. were different people. And the dragon has come here hmm, at least half a dozen times. Beyond That's that, a... I cannot say. That tells uh, me there's after something here couple questions well he could be after what he said he was after or he could potentially be after like the artifact or something um, he's a dragon of course he wants the artifact yeah um yeah well i'm just throwing out the possibilities but saying, the rarer the treasure the better for I, a dragon. I i would not be surprised if that were the case certainly um my question is uh uh, what was the most recent time he brought people here? Do you recall? Or are you not good with time? Time, after a while, loses meaning, but... It could not have been less than two months ago. Okay. Uh... So he, he might have just been telling the truth about the, uh the other thing that's fine um and what else yeah okay so in terms of our word that, that's literally just because we've met gia and 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 she gave us a boon yeah, or indeed. is there more to it than that all right there are few who are a, whom the gods deem worthy enough to meet in person I, I'm like, I like how you said, oh, is that it? Like, we didn't literally meet a god. <laughs> oh, is that it? You just have to meet god. Well, I'm, I'm I just... Sensed, I also sense that one of you is a follower of the trade wit. One of Lord Onos's great servants. His messenger. Just Lily turns to Grenash. As does Lake. So wait, despite that, Grenache had never heard of Onos? He would not have, no. Interesting. Is, no, is Onos mention. one of those names that's just been lost to time? Real real lost knowledge hours. All right. That would be me, then. Oh. Okay. But then the trials are to further prove our worthiness to what use the this relic yes all right you have proven your worthiness to jia if she has seen you in person but you must prove your worthiness to lord onos now if you wish to claim his artifact uh well i mean i guess we do right i mean yeah i would like that thing uh, i, I crave, crave. Uh, of okay. course you do. We don't have a specific reason to want I it. I just but... don't want to go back to that trash dragon. Yeah, note that if we do get it and then go back, he's 
very likely going to try to take it from us. And we'll have to fight him. Which is why you hide it. I mean, you know, that's possible too. We do I'm, have a giant Aurelia hole is right designed now kind to of just worried things. about Silky, but presumably he wouldn't do anything to our friends uh, while we might potentially return with the thing he wants or help him find a way in or whatever else. Uh, I assume we're not even really going to consider the possibility of doing what he asked and trying to oh, find God, a way for him no. to get in. God, uh, yeah, no. I mean, yeah, I just wanted to make sure we were all on the same page there. Uh, also, I feel like we wouldn't be able to do anything about this level of divine magic. Yeah, probably not. Well, uh, that's a quitter's attitude, but it's going to be a moot point, so let's not discuss it. Uh, I want the artifact. Yeah, I know. We all want the art. Okay, well, first of all, if you what get the artifact, it? it is like a sacred relic that is going to be bestowed upon us, so you will not be able to, like, sell it or anything. Who said I was going to pawn it? Um, Sometimes I just like to own things. Well, like you wouldn't rope. own it, is my point. <laughs> We'd just be using it. and They'd probably want it back at some point or something like that. I don't know. Sounds fake. Um... The item will fall into the hands of those worthy. The gods will see to that. Wait, so I mean, after we're done, the next people they get it don't have to go through trials that just, no, they just stumble upon it? No, no, no. It's it's like eventual kind of thing. Not necessarily it'll be right plopping into their hands. Mm. <laughs> You know how fucking this gods sounds like kind divide. of a raw deal, but okay, let's let's. Gods are assholes, okay. Okay, don't say that out loud while we're talking to the representative of a god. Um, but yes, you are correct about that. Um, oh, all right. Okay, so uh, these trials. Uh, is this kind of like a thing, like a secret kind of thing, or do you like? Will you describe them to us before we agree if to do them? If you accept the trials, then please proceed out the back of the temple and into the garden on the other side. Yep, on my there, way. There, your first oh. trial will begin. All right, and uh, it's all. This is all just sight unseen. We don't get any. No, get any of course prep. not. You don't know how this works. Come on, you're a bard. You, you know are stories. Free. You are free to leave at any time. Uh, I mean, yeah, obviously. Um, right. But I'm going. I just I'm, was, I'm yeah, already again, gone. If you could describe, are, these, are we going to have to fight? Yeah, Lily's already leaving. <laughs> <sighs> well, sorry for having some curiosity. Listen, you're a bard! What was that? You should know what they're like right now. Might as well just get on with it. You're a bard. You should know how the stories of these things yes, go. Of this course, is the we third don't. You said that. Um. All right. Well, I'm for it then. All right. Yeah, let's go. So you exit out the back of the temple, and you find yourself in a verdant garden. Yeah, of course, the god with a bunch of wives has statues of naked ladies in his garden. <laughs> Bob, you're going to get me banned from Twitch. <laughs> of course, he doesn't care about his wife's opinion either. The garden I mean, maybe is... she's into it. You don't know. The garden well, I'm more meant is the, the... full of a variety of plants, flowers, bushes, trees, all from what seem to be every corner of the globe. Some you remember back from Karo's deck that you've never seen since you left, or as long as you're gone. Others you notice that you f saw in Kalanya and nowhere else until here. Okay. This garden is planted in honor of Gia. And here you will undergo the trial of Onos, the ruler. Onos. 
Oh no, in his wisdom. And as Lord of all the gods. And out of love for his first wife, though still married to his second in this aspect, permitted this garden to be placed here. But there is one plant that does not belong, one that does not represent Jah's embrace. Take the plant, or a cutting of the plant, and place it in the basin next to the door. And as you look to your left, there is a wide sort of brazier, stone brazier, that you could um, put something fairly large in. Burn it as an offering to Lord Onos. And if you are correct, then you will have passed the trial. And if we're incorrect, then you will have failed. So it's just a one, and one try? Wait, and I will wait for another group of worthies. <sighs> okay, no time limit? <clears throat> the voice is silent. Okay, yeah, no All time right. limit. Yeah. Well, like, this sounds like some fucking druid shit. Yeah, it's a good thing I still have at least three charges on this thing. I have, like, it's ten charges per day. <sighs> And I only used three to speak with plants before. So. Yeah. And um, incidentally, Grunash, they also used one of your um, holy symbol charges to use true seeing just to make sure that what the hell, that what was going on here is actually real. Okay. Just oh. keep that in mind. Fair enough. Um, uh, did we... Sorry, I'm just trying to because unfortunately I lost the, the the version of my character sheet that I had open from last time. Um, I lost it because I was doing it off of a hard drive because I had just switched computers, so I don't remember if I used any spells or anything last time. Did we get any fights yesterday or not? Yesterday, no, no, we didn't get any. Not fights since last your time. last long rest. Uh, no. I I used to speak with plants to see if like. The plants had known how long it had been since people had been here. And right, yeah, no, I, I remember that. And then Grenache used choosing right, okay. Right. So I probably and hadn't used any spell slots anyway. Yeah, right. Lake used a scry, but Lake regains spells on a short rest, so that's yeah. fine. Uh, all right. Okay, so no time limit. Uh, maybe we should start out by just exploring the, the garden a little, seeing yeah. if anything Before, stands out yeah, before I burn yeah. spe staff charges, we can see if anything stands out. So it's the plant that does not represent does not represent Gia's embrace. Was that it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wouldn't all plants represent? Eh, it depends. Uh, odd. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's. Uh, what would that be to just sort of? Just kind of walk out. through the just garden yeah. and try to just have a nice little yeah. stroll through the garden at first. Yeah, that's what All I mean. Right. Well, the uh, area you're in right now is um, quite pleasant, and uh, nearby you enter an area that is just like entirely flowering plants, and each bush and eat or each patch just is a slightly different color from the one next to it in even rows. <laughs> and in other areas, you see that there are discrete gardens that seem to represent different... Um, different environments from around the world. Here's an area that is a little more arid and has the uh, the scraggly trees that can keep growing even without much water. A bunch of succulents and cacti next to it. And over there is a giant pool. Uh, actually, it's kind of smelly. It, on the, towards the other end, it gets quite swampy, 
algae covers over the surface of the water, and next to it are a bunch of thick, heavy trees that you remember seeing when you were crossing through the jungle in the southern side of the continent. Uh, South Kalajia. And for that matter, at one point, you notice a massive stink. And there is this giant, broad, uh, broad-petaled flower that's just sort of stuck out of the ground, and you swear that it smells like something died inside of it, and it just smells absolutely awful. Uh, didn't we meet one of those before? Oh, uh, you met something similar, yeah. Uh, it's so gross. Yeah, you met its cousin, which had grown uh, feet and started eating actual corpses. This one just smells like one. Yeah. Well, if I were to take a guess, if everything here is abundant with life, that'd be it. Mm, not necessarily. And, uh, not really. I'm not going to put my eggs in that basket yet. As you continue into the darker part of this garden, you start to see other plants that don't seem as friendly as the ones near the temple entrance. Like, um, there are giant patches of briars and actual razor vines. There are hanging, hanging vines from weeping willows that seem to reach out for you as you pass by. And in the depths of the dark part of the garden, there is even a giant shambling pile of swamp and mud. It doesn't attack you. It doesn't even seem to register your presence. It's just wandering through the swamp, the swampy part of the garden. Hmm. And meanwhile, Lake, mm -hmm. as you've been walk, as you in particular have been walking deeper into this garden, you've started to feel the staff in your hands start to thrum with energy. Okay. The sort of thrumming or vibration coming from your staff seems to grow as you approach a certain part of the garden and then fade away as you leave it. Mm. I Finally, it's time for a game of hot and cold. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's follow the vibrating staff. I don't care no. if that sounds lewd. We're doing it. All right. Making it happen. You eventually come to a massive oak tree, one that is far larger than the trees around it. You didn't see it from a distance because it's not that much higher than the trees surrounding it. And this part of the garden is just entirely given to forest trees. And you know it's not a kinta tree, but it somehow pulses with the energy of the mother tree. All right, I start walking closer towards it. Claudius, it's time for druid bullshit. Not a fucking <laughs> druid anymore. You're essentially a druid. <laughs> now, if this is related to the mother tree, maybe that's the right answer, because... Gia is yeah the mother tree uh, like I was thinking not evil and the mother tree is evil okay so. well that's not the line of thought I was going with but no, the, the mother tree the mother tree did come from the Feywild mm -hmm. and as a result might not be part of Gia's embrace that was my initial thought but then Gaia when we were talking she seemed to like be cool with the mother tree? 
So I. Okay, but does algae count as a plant? Yes. Then. How I'm thinking, Zane, now, now that we're talking like that, I'm thinking. Because Gia and the Mother Tree are different entities, essentially. Might not. They might not belong here, but. Yeah, it could be just accepted as as part of this world, just isn't from this world. So Adopted daughter. Sense. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm just saying, what if algae, because it's water? No. I'm... She is an earth goddess. It, well, it didn't vibrate when I pointed I mean, at the fucking algae. I think the real question here is, is this... A religion question, or is this a, you know, uh, science question? Anyway, no, I'm gonna we walk don't up to the tree. Of the stories of Gia. Yeah. Jeez. Well, I don't know. Really, is probably the worst person to try to. I'm walking up to the this tree out. and. Uh... And I'm gonna just inspect, lick it. like, look at it closely. No. Lick it. I'm not going to lick the tree. No. It is essentially an exotic variety of oak. And aside from the energy that uh, seems to harmonize with your staff, it does not seem to be in any way intelligent okay. or it does not react to your presence can I roll religion to see if I have any insight into what Gia's embrace means like if there's any non-obvious meaning to that alright yeah same can I do that too I, I could do more actually it's not a great roll you with the actual div <laughs> I told you guys I'm not a cleric or a druid. I tell you this all the time, and you don't believe me. There's your fucking proof. Well, your your issue would be nature if you were a druid. This is religion. <laughs> oh, hey, well, my religion has the same exact bonus. Grenache. Uh, as far as you can figure, Gia's embrace is probably just a flowery way of saying um, the plants and animals that live because they live on this planet. It's um, life on Earth, essentially. Hmm. I think you mean mint, Bobbin. Yeah, yeah, come on. on. <laughs> Give the program, dude. Ah uh, yes, the mint elemental, my favorite. <laughs> and then we get nuked. <laughs> Which doesn't disprove the logic of something from the Feywilds just yeah. simply existing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, is that how that works? Um, I mean, it's life from another another realm, essentially. Oh, so. Yeah, it, it is. I could try talking to it and asking it, like, if it grew here or if it grew in the Feywild. Sure. Yeah, so uh, another three charges for my staff. That brings it down to um, four. four. And uh, I'm going to try talking to this, this here tree, asking, you know, did you grow here or that were you brought over from someplace else I know that I was once much larger than I am now I am trying to grow to the size that I became how God, big was that transplant it was very very big I think I was much, much smarter than two. 
So this tree was probably grown from a clipping from the mother tree. Yeah. It's the um, All right. You've never really described axe? what you've never described what part what kind of tree the mother tree is. Is it is it a big oak? Yes. Like I okay. So yeah, I I think this is it, guys. Let's uh let's let's get some. I did some, mention some... once that uh, it was grown originally from an acorn. Oh, okay. All right. Um so yeah, let's find a bit that we can snip off and burn at the, uh, yeah, the place. Yeah, loose cutting or something, yeah. Yeah, well, okay. Maybe we should take one more look around just to see if anything else comes I, to our attention. I think this is it, but yeah, that's better safe than sorry. But yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure this is going to be it. I'm going to look around to see if anything sticks out just in case. Well, roll investigation. Ah, investigation, you say. How do you... Jeez. Uh, That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah well. that's all about for the <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are able to thoroughly enjoy the garden and find new plants and flowers that you didn't see on your first pass. But nothing stands out to you aside from the things I have already mentioned. Okay, yeah, I think this is it then. All right. Yep, uh, I guess we break off, like, a piece of it, like a small <laughs> branch or a twig or something. You can just sort of grab a low-hanging branch and just cut off a good foot or two yeah. of um, of it. And the, the tree doesn't really mind. It's it's a tree. It can, it, it'll live. Yeah. Also, the most important parts are further so, in any so way. So you're saying it doesn't suffer? We're not going to make the fucking tree suffer. Too bad. Um, no, we're not. Okay. <sighs> All right. It's fine. Trees can't even really feel anything anyway. <sighs> anyway, let's take it back to the front place in the brazier and burn it. Yeah, let's burn it. You're way too excited for that. <laughs> Look, it's the only thing I can enjoy in this fucking garden, all right? <laughs> all right. Well, it smells nice, but it's incredibly boring. I mean, you Except say it smells flower. nice. You you did you did pass by that one flower. Okay, I passed by it. Yeah, <laughs> Lily likes that. Lily's pretty sick. No. So, you do find equipment for setting things on fire sitting next to the brazier. Seems to be ready and waiting, possibly for the trial, possibly just as in general. But either Can way, I... setting it on fire is not a problem. I want to do it. Okay, fine, you can do it. Do we win? Hell yeah. And after the ashes of the branch begin to settle, the voice returns. It says, I knew from the staff that one of you carries that this trial would be easy. But you still Continue failed down. miserably. <laughs> <laughs> you have succeeded. So continue down the path behind the garden and down to the altar which lies below. Okay. Alright. Fucking gods, am I right? They're very melodramatic. They really are. Oh my <laughs> god. Hold on, this guy's not a god, though. These are trials built by a god. Oh, we have to fight something. Oh, that's right, I forgot we brought Lorem! I forgot we fucking brought Lorem! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's been very quiet. He's been here the entire time, our buddy Jeff the Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's. Oh, he he's been busy. 
Writing. <laughs> Writing, yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right, friend. And, yeah, as you descend from the garden, you enter this natural alcove that leads up to the very edge of this sort of pillar that you're on. And as you approach the sitting statue upon the altar that hangs out over the uh, the water, the, the uh, mist below you, <laughs> the voice rings out again. This is why the holy city had to be built here and nowhere else. Because here, the sky, Lord Onos, is above and below us. Wait, the first what? trial is over, and so now you must file the trial of Onos, the Conqueror. Trial. The Conqueror is the first aspect of Onos. He who fought against the Elder Gods and wrested this world free of the origin of the Abyss. To prove your worth, you must fight and, de and defeat the three statues that represent the three aspects of Onos that are worshipped here. Oh, I, there's the third one, okay. Get Onos the Conqueror, that. Onos the Ruler, and Onos the Enlightened. Onos the Philanderer. No, that was only when he was with his wives. Oh, okay. <laughs> Onos is only ever married at uh, once. But he is married to different gods in different aspects. Uh, okay, I get That sounds like an excuse. Spooky. Gods have many forms. Of excuse? We mortals <laughs> are the ones limited to but our single bodies. Uh, we never become a bull at some point. Or sand. Or maybe a golden boy. shower. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare yourselves how you wish. <laughs> and when you are ready, say so, and the trial will begin. All right. Uh, I I would like to get my set up bullshit ready, so I'm hulking out and turning invisible. Yeah, I'm gonna activate mirror uh, um, image. Specifically, invisibility is going on first. I would prefer to have the uh, the Hulk out be ready longer. All right. Let's use the leaves for uh, mirror image. Yeah. Anybody else going to cast anything? Uh, I'll use up one of my shield of faith scrolls. Actually, the leaves look really nice. Um, casting before combat is for cowards. So. Yeah, and I'm a huge fucking coward. What of it? Yeah, nobody's surprised by that. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, Lorem is going to cast Fly on himself. How dare he have a better version of Fly? I mean, I have it. I just don't use it because I can just do it naturally. Also, I'm um, mm, gonna activate Prodador's Light because there's no reason not to. Yeah. Alright. I, I, I can't ready. exactly stealth here. I think we're ready. I forget what the command phrase to start the whole shindig was, but I think we're ready. It's time to get conquering? I don't know. Oh, no, this is a you huge remember nerd. what the command phrase is? Oh, I can't. Is Bobby I... talking? <laughs> or 
is Bob and fucking with us. <laughs> Bob and... I think All right, Bob ready. I think Bob and died. Uh, I think Bob and died. He's not saying anything on Discord either. Though. Testing. Uh, Hi. We go. Hello, you're back. Okay, good. <laughs> I was apparently gone there for a bit. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, so... As you say your phrase, uh, you see this disembodied spirit float down and enter the statue of what you presume is the Conqueror. Because uh, it's got, it's covered in weapons, it's got very angry faces and a whole bunch of hands, each with a weapon. I don't know, maybe that's what Enlightenment looks like. Nah, uh, Enlightenment's a bomb one. Just can't wait for him to use a Divine Cruise Missile. That'll be fun. <laughs> Roll initiative. Maybe a Divine Spaceship. Initiative. All things that zero. exist. Damn. Gone. Wow, me and Bobo tied. Go last. Alright, Grunash got uh, also got seventeen. Oh, actually, wait, never mind. How long? Is, when you attune to an item, that's a, like a is that like a thing you can do during a short rest? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it takes an hour. Yeah. Okay. And that's fine. Then. And let's see here, everybody else. Lauren gets plus two. Damn. He's on the ball. Fucking hmm. Mr. Fucking eager to go guy. Eidolon gets a minus one. And I'm still going last, despite the fact that he that his initiative is worse than mine. Shit it rolling. Look, all I'm asking is if we need to deal with a Vimana or a Brahmastra. <laughs> <laughs> Do not get that reference. Uh, sex to you. Alright, Lorem uh, flies up about 40 feet, moves over, and decides to throw... Hmm, let's just say a firebolt right now. Just to get things going. This is the calmest battle music we've ever had. <laughs> well, the mood hasn't really changed. Yeah, I figured as much. And then we try to swat the ones that haven't activated yet, like cool dudes. No. And the uh, the fireball just sort of pings and ricochets and hits the stone sides without causing any damage. Well, way to suck, Lorem. <laughs> because he rolled a six. Why don't you just go back to writing your nerd shit? Right. What? Actually, uh, I actually am gonna go after Grenache. Past life figured. All right. You yeah. Can have that option. Yep. So I'm gonna do the only thing that I really can do best, and that's get up close and. No, we take the hits, but try and dish some too. Yep, begin the wailing. You're the tank. Just in the, the great smackening of our time. <laughs> Let the wailing commence. Isn't that legal somewhere? It's illegal <laughs> in a lot of the world, it's actually. Illegal in the world, basically. <laughs> but, you know, White whale, holy everybody. grail. It's just that not everybody pays attention. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> White whale, holy grail. So, what does that do? A 19 but, uh, hits. It does hit, okay. Yeah, we're at the point where a lot of our shit just hits. It just oh, works. Just true. It just works. <laughs> and the immortal words right. of Todd the Destroyer, it <laughs> just works. Yeah, the one is lightning, uh, the rest is magical piercing. 
Yep. You notice that the lightning does not seem to do too much to this giant metal statue. Yeah, because I'm guessing my radiant is going isn't going to do too much either. Well, Minor aspects of oh, well, that. That'll definitely hit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. That's not bad actually. Almost max. Right. Um Almost, yeah. Minus three. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick since my turn isn't for like a thousand years. Have fun with that. All right. Yep. So um, that was and, your ma main attack. Yeah, and this has many arms, so patient defense. <laughs> and I'm just gonna prepare for the worst. All right, Lily. Well, uh, since radiant damage seems to not be so hot on this guy. Probably would be lightning. a bad. Oh, lightning! Okay, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, I'm running in. His spear does lightning damage. Yep. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, just fucking book it. I'll use my bonus action for added uh, distance. Um, and let the flackening begin. So that's roll. Not Dot Rick, thank you. <laughs> I'm just trying to make, yeah, okay, so, uh, slash roll. I did it again. Fingers are slightly off. Uh, I think I'd see you there, Mr. Period. That'd be a D10 plus 7 plus 66, I think. What level are we again, just to be sure? 13, I believe. Yeah. 13. Ah, that's 76 then. I was wrong. Alright, you carve out a pretty good portion of this uh, statue. Never been a big fan of the Divine anyway, except for that one. <laughs> ah, yes, the MILF. Exactly. <laughs> oh, and also the Sylph, I guess, technically, although you don't know that she's a Sylph. Yeah, see, you don't know, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Aurelia. Um, alright. So he's, this is going to be one at a time, then? That's the yeah. impression I'm getting. You saw a, um, a disembodied spirit enter this statue and animate it. Right. Okay, so my question is, what's to prevent us from just attacking the other ones while they can't fight back? Well, the fact that they're just inanimate statues. Right, but if we destroy the statues, then we'll possess them. We win. Oh, right. I won't actually... Why try it? Fucking... No, I won't, because it probably won't. Um, Let's adventure. I wonder if... <sighs> I, I, I feel like these things probably cannot be charmed. Yeah, probably not. Uh, which does put some limits on uh, exactly what I can what I can do. Uh, is. Is the one we're fighting in a position where it's like back is against the wall? Sort of? Essentially, there's like a bit of a narrow uh, opening in the natural stone that you could <laughs> squeeze through if you wanted to, but it could right. probably, probably wouldn't be able to move back much further itself. Although, I guess if I. It moves towards the speed as away from you. Okay, so it wouldn't actually need to be directly back if it didn't have a path directly back. All right. Um, so that's too far. Uh, let's try... Using... Uh, 
I don't know if this is even work, but using distant whispers on this, and I'll just cast it at first level while I'm testing to see if it works. All right, what's your save these days? Uh, 18 still. And wisdom? Yes. It fails. Okay. Uh, well, it does not do much in the way of damage, but you guys will be able to use reactions against it if it runs away. Mm -hmm. Nine psychic damage, if that matters. And it has to flee as far away from me as it can using its movement. All right. Um, it flees exactly this far. Fair. <laughs> no, I, I saw that. It's idle on it. It's like, hey, wait for me! Are you guys going to use reactions to opportunity attack? Yeah, yeah. fuck it. Nah, don't think I'm... 15 minutes. Yeah. Take it. <laughs> I think I actually get that far. Dino is ready. <laughs> Come on, I do this all the time. Yeah, but you must expect the statue to run. <laughs> well, it's a magic statue. It can fight back. Surely it can run. It yeah, would we've... be very interesting if it were literally just a statue. We fought weirder. Yeah. Speaking of... It's its turn. And so, uh... It returns towards you and, uh, goes after Grenache with its giant fists. And although it's got Although it's covered in weapons, it does not seem actively proficient in them. They are mostly there for decoration's sake. Huh. That said, it is able to hit pretty hard. <coughs> As a 19 would fail. Well, you've got patient defense on, so... Yeah. So... Yep. It rose too terribly... To do anything. Lake. Uh, surprise of the fucking century, Lake is going to cast Eldritch Blast three Whoops. times. Okay, so, uh, advantage. Find the proper thing. There we go. Alright, so. So for all the arms you'll use is two. Advantage. Huh. Uh, 27. Mm hmm. 29. 29, so 3d10 plus levels 13 plus 15. The charisma bonus. Um, 52, 13 of which is radiant damage, which I'm not sure if they will be doing or not. Alright, uh, force and radiant. Yes. Now that'll, that'll do it. Alright. That'll do it. All right. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> Listen, it might be one of like two turns I get this entire combat, but I made it count. <laughs> All right. The, oh, I also uh, fly thirty feet up. So let me uh, let me mark that on my thing after the blasts. All right. So uh, yes, uh, with the eldritch blasts. The statue tips over backwards, and the disembodied spirit pops out and just sort of hovers there in front of you. The, uh, the idea seems to be to allow the spirit to embody one of the other statues, but you do have an opportunity to attack it directly if you so choose. I think if we did that, we would fail. Honestly, I think attacking the statues and the spirit, att attacking the statues out of order and the spirit in general would cause us to fail the trial. Seems to be the way of it. All right. And uh, for his part, Lorem is going to uh, adjust his location, but otherwise hold fire. So each of you do have this opportunity. 
Hmm. Are you still gonna wait for me, or? Uh, I figured I figured you would go first, so yeah, I'll wait for you. Oh. Yeah. yeah I just, I just push the um. The sorting button again, and it just reset everything. <laughs> right. Well, uh, forty-five to there. <laughs> Ready in action. Um. I'm actually gonna just use my uh, other action for moving. And just hold position. All right, Lily. So I suspect that one's next. Hmm. Let's see. Let me just uh, pop this guy in here for this. So, so the statue isn't on the initiative order anymore. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna cover all my bases. I'm gonna move right here uh, right. and then I'm going to shoot the spirit uh, yeah I used my bonus action to uh, to get there faster but uh, yeah right. I'm going to shoot the spirit well uh, you're going to have to toss Protodor's light to the ground then okay because it takes a bonus action to ignite or turn it off that's that's fine, and that's not something you just put away to pull out your crossbow. Here, yep. let me just. Oh no, I've stabbed myself. How? <laughs> who would have seen this coming? Oh no, you stabbed your dash in the foot. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm still gonna shoot the spirit just because I'm interested to see what'll happen. All right, make your attack roll. All right. God. Easy hit. But no uh, sneak attack. Yeah, that's that's fine. This is, I'm learning from this. Is the thing. I'm like you fucking cowards. The bolt passes right through the spirit, disrupting it slightly, but not that much. Aurelia? Oh, sorry guys. Um, I've, I've been sick lately. I'm just really tired right now. I'm about to doze off there. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I guess if we're not attacking, then Aurelia will... Um, does... Does... Holding an action like they're doing, use your reaction to use it? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm about to use the reaction for much else, so... Right. No, no, I wasn't worried about mine. I was worried, like, because you guys won't be able to take an opportunity to attack if I do that. Um. Well, in this case, neither of them have held their actions. Oh, they didn't? Oh, I thought they did. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. no, I shot well, the then Aurelia, Aurelia will hold another um, dissonant whispers and use it on whoever, whichever statue. Which I assume it's the one, the closest one. But um, I mean, it's funny if it was the other one that ran away. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as it goes in, basically. Yeah. And All that's right. My turn. Sorry. So the spirit's turn. Uh, the booming voice doesn't seem too bothered by uh, Lily's decision. The spirit moves into the uh, the next statue, and and the voice says, "Next is Onus, the ruler. He has used the wisdom." of his middle years to rule over those uh, to rule over his subjects wisely and fairly uh, 
And upon entering the uh, statue, it begins to animate. And so now uh, I will have to roll the saving throw. Oh, it succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. It's only good saving throw is wisdom. Mm. Rip. Rip. Beautiful. Oh, it still takes half damage, doesn't it? Yes. But it will not be charging away. Correct. So six damage for it. All right. Lake? Uh, second verse, same as the first. Seems about right. It's like I'm a one-trick pony or something. <laughs> you really are. I mean, four locks. That's... Yeah, this this is. I wanted to play the simplest fucking spellcaster available, and wouldn't you know it? Damn, so close to a critical hit there, but uh. I'm so glad it wasn't. Because um, your rolls with this fucking spell are ridiculous. Uh, so forty-one, and then I ascend another thirty feet. All right. And then... Five people pop into the chamber in the corner and shout, Now! What the hell? Evil adventuring party, oh no! And the music finally changes. Is this part of the test? Uh, judging from how Shadow Hearts music is playing, I'm betting no. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> oh look! Never some of them go after me. Fucking dragon. Some of them go after me. That's so nice. Never trust a dragon. They all go after you. Oh yeah, they do. Holy shit. I guess they were just holding their actions. Let's see. Okay, no, it's not the other adventuring party. I was afraid that the other adventuring party became evil and got wormed. Oh no, it's not those adventurers. Okay. I literally forgot those people existed. We haven't interacted with them in years. Yeah. I, <laughs> I still care about I, imagine, I frankly assumed they were all dead. I imagine Lake is still pen pals with Harrington or something like that. That's his name, right? Yeah, I got it right. They have a separate they have a separate entry in my uh, notes called Other Adventurer Guys. <laughs> yeah, I really does not remember any of their names. And it really has a good memory. She just doesn't care. Lily don't know shit. Uh, yeah, Lily I don't think we've met them. Actually. I don't think Lily's ever met them. No, nope. I don't think so. Huh? Huh? No. Right. Are they um, using an AOE on me and Grenash? Grenash and Lily roll charisma saving throws. Charisma. Oof. Oh, fucking boy. Oofa. Beat a 15. You have that inspiration. Oh. Whoops. You do have that inspiration. Oh, I do, I do. I'll fucking roll again, I guess. Yeah, sure. I'll use mine as well then. Yeah, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm just not fucking well, allowed to roll. Oh, guys, come no. on. No. Stand up, but... Guys, it's easy! Having it's having an advantage is easy! Look how many times I've used it and it's worked out well for me! I throw you in the <laughs> toilet! <laughs> I'd be the one who was targeted by the charisma saving throw, or, yeah, or same. Link for that matter. Yeah, same. I mean, my We're... charisma bonus is fine, I'm just not proficient in it. Yeah, Almost I... like these enemies know who you are. Oh, no. Well, later, folks. It's been a treat. You have been banished. Okay, cool. That is a concentration spell. <gasps> oh, fuck, I could have countered that. Oh, oh no, I couldn't, because I used my reaction. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, and also these guys are kind of surprising um, you. 
Who who oh, cast it? This person here. Yes. Okay. Okay. The one without a health bar. Got it. Is it not visible? No, that no. one's nope. hers is not visible. I'll just fix that then. Thank you. I, I try and get them all, but yeah, sometimes yeah. this one. Yeah, it's fine. I appreciate you letting us know how much health things have, by the way. Well, it saves me having to describe their condition. <laughs> I yeah, most GMs I know are like, when all their hit points are supposed to be a mystery. All right. Um, all right. I think she is going to uh, cast a spell on herself that covers her uh, uh, armor and clothing with a thick layer of frost. Oh, I know that one. What does it do? Armor of Agathis. If you attack her with um, with melee attacks, it deals uh, ice damage equal to like five times her the spell casting level of whatever it is. The only reason yeah. I know this, and I'm sort of metagaming is because I've used that spell before. Yeah. yeah it's not metagaming if you've used it in character and Fair know enough. exactly what yeah. spell it is. Fair enough. Wow, these people can run real fast. Well, they're dashing. Fair. Yeah. Uh, I will hopefully be getting our friends back very soon. I'm going to be targeting the one who banished exclusively. Fair. I'm the only one on the field who can't fly right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, time for Aurelia to dodge tank. Let's see. Um... Oh, you know, I've never looked up how that spell works. What spell? How close do they have to be together? Damn. <laughs> 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 I tried, okay? <laughs> Not very hard, but I tried. Oh. <laughs> Any targets within reach. You oh. do have to see them, though. Okay. So what are we saving? Yeah, them? Why um... You so yeah, depending on what spell level... Frosty McFrostface... Cast here, you can deal anywhere between five and like forty-five damage. Although I doubt they're casting it as a ninth-level spell. All right. Um, the old man steps forward and casts a spell that fires a bolt of lightning that strikes Aurelia, arcs up to hit Vorum, and then down to hit the statue. Well, at least they're helping with the trial, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All three need to roll dexterity. Turn also turns out being invisible has more advantages than just having advantage. Time to dodge the lightning. Why did I roll a d10? <laughs> Ride the lightning. Well, I probably did Aurelia. not successfully ride the lightning there. Oh, right. I rolled it for Lorem, who failed. Mm. Mm. And the statue also failed. Well, it looks <laughs> like failure's did. all around. Yeah. Oof. Oofa doofa. All right. Mm. And Lorem has to save, maintain concentration. <laughs> Actually, and that he fails. Pretty miserable. Oh, no. So he oh, that's... Yeah, he, he falls, like, what, 30 feet? That's 3d6? 40. 40. Oh, damn. oh, that's right, he was 40 feet in. Oh. Luckily, my invisibility... Luckily, my flight isn't, uh, fucking concentration-based. And the statue takes half damage because it is a statue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lightning resistance. So, Lorm crawls back to his feet and throws a fireball into the back row. <laughs> yep, they're not quite far enough apart to avoid this. So, D20s for each of them. Oh, what do you know? The 
concentrating priest succeeded. Ah, uh, fuck. Maybe they'll really fucking flub their concentration. Hard. The 13... Come back, and Lorms fuck the hell up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I wanted to do that to him. All right, and uh, Constitution succeeds. Aurelia, uh, yeah, figured. Aurelia, you're up. All right, so, sorry, I'm just trying to remember what we saw all these people do. The, we, the, the, the woman up there is the one who banished, banished. the... The guy who took a lot of damage... Is the uh, one who threw the chain lightning at you. He threw the chain lightning, so he might be okay. This one's armored, and then I think these two guys just ran. Yeah, they ran and did nothing else. Okay. Got no idea what they do they yet. They both seem to have swords, so, or something yes. like that. Um, they are both carrying large swords. Fair. All right. And seem intent mm. on using them. Uh, really? They're not just ornamental. <laughs> Um, all right, so I can move within, uh, like, like I can move like here and like here, right? Without yeah. provoking opportunity attack. Okay. Because yes. if Aurelia moves there, she can pull off, um, the god tier steel wind strike and hit all five of these people. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just adjusting that. Uh, Next level plays right here. Am, I, am I allowed to see what the result is before I decide where she ends up? Or do I have to choose uh, immediately? Well, uh, where you end up will have to be adjacent to one of them because you're starting adjacent to one of them. Oh, yeah, no, I know. But I mean, am I allowed to wait and see how much damage they take before I... Uh, Decide. No, I'm going to say that you select the order when you cast the spell. And so, uh, whether you stay by the uh, last person or bamf away from them is something you decide at that point as well. Actually, sorry, I, I know I just asked, but I, I reread the description, and actually from the description it does seem like it's clear that I choose afterwards, because it says you can then teleport to an unoccupied space you can see within five feet of one of the targets you hit or missed. Which implies that I get to find out whether it hit or missed at least first. All right. Well, um, just to save a little time, roll damage first and then start attacking. Sure. Um, Got to jump between so a few different stat blocks here. That's fair. It's sixty ten. Right? I can't I cast this as a higher level spell, can I? No, I can't. It's always just sixty ten force damage. All right, that's uh, that's not a bad result. Respectable. Yeah, I mean it's above average. So, um, uh, so name your targets before you roll. Uh, okay, I'll just do uh, clockwise from the guy who's at like half health. Okay, so, the wizard. Yeah, the I wizard. That should be fairly clear. Well, I don't know. He could be a sorcerer. Wizard. Uh, the mage. Uh, all right. So, sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't have to roll. Oh, no, I do have to roll because the melee. Sorry, I always fucking forget. This is the one thing that I do get to roll my spell. Melee <laughs> so spell a, attack. A yes. melee spell attack. So I get to use. I get the plus ten. Right. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So just one d twenty plus ten. Okay. Twenty one. It's. See. Probably missed two of them. And uh, she, let's see, that's okay. That's nineteen against her. The warlock. Uh. No, that's... Sorry. So it was twenty-one against the wizard. Then the uh, that person, the the, tw the twenty-nine, is the person you're pinging. All right. And her armor of agathis goes off, by the way, because it's a melee attack. Fuck, it is! Oh, I forgot! Yeah. Shit. Oh, well. It might still be worth it. You, you at least took out the wizard. Yeah. That's yeah, it. fuck wizards. 
Also, um, that's temp you're taking off temporary hit points on the armor of Agathis. I forgot that they, uh, that also gives you temporary hit points. Well, the first 25 were, certainly. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Although, actually... The fireball... Let me just count here. The fireball was 27. Uh, yeah, so... if the fireball was 27, depending on how much... Yeah. That the, actually burned off the armor of Agathis. Yeah! Nice. So High five, Laura. By that. <laughs> but, but she has a lot more hit points than you think. Yeah. Than we thought. Yeah. Yeah. Fair trade. And, okay. 42. Still standing. Third attack. That was against the War Priest. Guessing that's probably not good enough. No, it's fully armored that one. It's still twenty-one that it needs that they need to make for the uh, concentration yeah, save. I think twenty. I think twenty-one is this one. Was it half damage? No, no, I'm talking about the damage. It's half damage. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, 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 okay. half, oh, half damage. That's right. If if she was missed, then if it's, so it's if twenty-one. It's no, it's no damage if she yeah, misses. It's a miss. Oh, yeah. oh, it's yeah. no damage. If, okay. Yeah, because it's a melee spell. I thought as much. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, 21 will be this guy then, I'm guessing? Yeah. Yep. And, uh, let's see. That's the guy with the extra armor, but a 21 still hits. Just and crying uh, inside right now. <laughs> don't worry, he'll be coming back soon. <laughs> no, I just find it funny that all of all the people that move missed, it was the one casting the <laughs> yeah. banish spell. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and uh, yeah, you also miss the one that you were next to. Right. The Twelve. All right, uh, Aurelia is going to put herself over here because that's hopefully out of melee range, like <laughs> running range of. Uh, uh, you know what? Just to be safe, I'll go here. I'm pretty sure that'll stop these two from yeah, being enough. able to hit her this turn. Well, yeah, well, well okay. depending on the fucking, uh, fucking warlock. The, uh, statue <laughs> decides to go after the, uh, intruders here. Oh, thank you, statue. <sighs> You're fucking up the test, strong, guys. <laughs> and my friend. I <laughs> uh, really hope they don't make us do this over again. Well, oh, you wait. failed because there's some intruders. Uh, the first so start time you drink over. a potion or whatever, it's it's the uh, it's a free action, right? It is your uh, free action use, yes. Okay. Um, and I can use a bonus. I'm gonna use a bonus action as well to give Lake um uh, a point of bardic inspiration. Um. Okay. I think it yeah. Might be out of range. Oh right, there's a range for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's I mean, don't sixty feet straight up. Yeah, and across the uh, battlefield from you. Yeah, don't uh, don't waste uh, it on oh, me yeah, anyway true. because I have advantage on all my attacks. Hey, you uh, could give it to Lorem. Fair enough, you can, I guess. You could, you could give it to Lorem. <laughs> he could yeah, probably Lorem use some extra defense enough? right now. Uh, is Lorm close enough? No, Lorm's not close enough. Oh, okay. uh, never mind. I just won't use the bonus action then. Too bad okay. I didn't switch into my other thing. Okay, it's fine. Um, is it like but I will drink a healing potion. How much are we getting from healing potions these days? Forty-four plus four. Forty-four plus four. Okay. All right. Um. Well, the war priest is about to eat three shits worth of shit. Uh, Three okay. shits That's worth a of weird shit. way of phrasing that, but sure. <laughs> Three shits worth of shit. <laughs> Three shits worth of shit. Yeah. You were really backed up, weren't you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't take a drink for that one. <laughs> oh shit! Hell yes. Oh thank fuck! The one time I want you to get a crit. All right, so uh. Right. Roll damage separately for each one. Okay, so um. They are separate damage sources, and the war priest will need right. to save against one. each one. So the according to the rules of my uh of my thingamabop, I can choose which one to apply the radiant damage to. So I'm going to apply it to that critical. Fair <laughs> enough. Five. So uh seven. <coughs> Plus five, plus thirteen, 
is 27, and then, uh, and then plus 5 again is 7. So, um, the one that wasn't a 7, it's a 13 DC. Uh, did you roll one of those correctly? Because you did crit, so wouldn't it be a 2d10? Oh, yeah, yeah, hold on. Let me roll, re-roll that, um... Wait. Yeah, it's 5 plus 13. Yeah, that, that's, yeah that's, that's the... From your level. Yeah, that's, so let me roll another d10 for that. Uh, so 6, so that would bring it up to 33. So how the hell often can you apply that radiant damage? Jesus. Once per turn. As long as my... Uh, what as the long, fuck? Yeah. As long as... One attack per turn, as long as my uh, Hulk out move is active. Which it won't be for too much longer. No, it won't be. Alright, so, um... They made the first save. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the second uh, save, I believe, bumped up to a 17? 18? No. 16. Um, 16. Yeah, 33. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she failed. Thanks! <laughs> Fuck. You're welcome. Now begins the murder. <laughs> we know. Yeah, you pop there into existence no and Lorem is just... For them. <laughs> okay, you pop into the... existence, the wizard's dead, Lorem's fucked up. <laughs> the uh, warrior dis uh, risks disengaging with the giant statue. Oh, no, it actually, it doesn't. The statue reaches 10 feet. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't have to worry about that. No, he's going after uh, Lily. Okay. All right. So, stats. Here we are. I got my roll ready. <laughs> Fuck each time you attack. Uh, so the first attack, uh, let's see. Uh, change the attack target to a duplicate. You, you uh, didn't hit with any of them, though. Oh. It's great. But he does use his second wind. Oh, he's a fighter. Okay. Makes sense. Eat my entire ass, fuck boy. <laughs> <laughs> that is both in and out of character. <laughs> no, I'm all for it. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, um... I, I forgot to mention that I wanted to move. Because I forget that moving is a thing that I can do. So, uh, let me just find out where I want to go. So... Uh, here ish. All right, where did I put the thing? Oh, she lays down a guardian of faith. Tired of these fucking guardians of faith, Jesus! Don't worry, she's about to fucking die. I'm tired of her bullshit. You're tired of her bullshit. And has sixty damage worth. Oh, Torpo! Torpo, should I turn her into a zombie? Eh, that's okay. fucked up. I mean... Oh, I see. <laughs> Should I? Okay. That's up to you. Okay. I mean, that's up to you if you decide to, you want to kill her. What is the range on that? I've never used it before. Alright, the Warlock runs up to Aurelia. Oh, and hello. Use, and uses Vampiric Touch. Oh. Mm. That's one I've not used. Disagree. Oh, shit, it's 60 feet. 
I'd have to like. Uh, I did, how does that right is that a saving throw or or what? Um, it is a melee spell attack. Okay. And um, she's casting it as a fifth level spell, okay. as a warlock. But you do have an opportunity to counter it now. Um. Yes. Sure. Why not? Uh, she wait. She has, as a fifth level spell. Yes. So. so you... Or I can make a DC ten plus. So, or I can make a DC fifteen spell casting ability check, which honestly sounds not that hard. All right. Or you could cast it out of a fifth level slot and just make it. Yeah, those are valuable to me though. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it um, for the biscuit. So wait, no, it's not my spell. It, wait, hold on. No, it's it, it would be the same as my spell attack modifier, right? Because that's my no, that's with your proficiency. This is oh, going right. to be a this roll without no, it. This, this is, is no proficiency bonus. Just I the charisma see. bonus. Oh, okay. Just my charisma bonus. Okay, those, those aren't, aren't as good, but uh, sure, why not? Nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> why is that what I crit? God damn it. I need a special bonus for critting that. Well, you, All right. You prevented her from damaging you and, ta and getting extra health hit points from it. Yep. Suck it. I don't know. That's one of the that warlock spell like slots. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right. Um, offense champion is going to rush over to Lorem. Rude. Oh, that's the wrong thing. And hit him twice. No! Oh, fucking rip. Let's see here. Yep, that applies. So, let's, uh... Fucking rip. No, Thorum. Thorum is knocked out. You need to and, uh, save his see. ass again. How much distance was that? About 20. Yeah, about Pour 20. one out for your boy. So he's going to finish his move over here. And, uh... You know, just... You don't get a turn order here. Bleeding out. Grenache. Okay. Heal our friend, please. Well, I'm a bit preoccupied at the moment. I suspect even doing this would probably provoke one opportunity attack. He's got time. If you have healing word, he is in range for that. I do not. And since you moved... The um, Guardian of Faith triggers. I figured. Let's see, that is uh, Dexterity. Of course, I've got a two on that one. Damn it. Not enough. Take 20 radiant damage. Oh, wait, no. You have evasion. Take 10. Ah. Okay. All right. These bastards want to come here and pick a fight. We're going to have one. First attack on this guy.
Okay, but now do your real roll. <laughs> Bobbin? Hello, Bobbin? Bobbin. Good Bobbin, you're quiet again. I'm in charge I'm of this place. I, I'm in charge now. I'm gonna flush you down the toilet. Okay, <laughs> okay, second roll on this one, then. Then take him two of them all at once. I. I God. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. I hear Bobbin now. Uh, yeah, also a miss. Uh, you have your bonus action. Yep. Yeah. I'm going all offensive on this. Again, this one? 19 misses. Oh, oh dang, they have the good AC. Heavy armor. Yeah. Stack of one for the lower one. 27 hits. All of a sudden. <laughs> Lily, your crossbow is in your hands. Protodor's light is several feet over this way. Because you dropped okay. it as you ran. I'm gonna lay I'm gonna lay down a hypothetical for you here. Let's say I teleported over to uh to about here with Misty Step. Uh could I then hide and shoot her for a backstab bonus? No, you would be using two bonus actions in one turn. Or oh, unless you are preparing true. for your next turn. True, 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 true. Mm, I could still misty step and hide regardless. Um, would misty step get rid of your mirror image? No, it's, it's just a teleport. Oh, okay. Yeah, misty step is an instantaneous spell. Yeah, would we'll use two bonuses. You're right. Um. Yeah, you know what? Ah, uh, God, I'm still missing Product Doors Light, my baby. This is this is really a uh, a conundrum, and you're a piece of shit, Bob. And I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> um. So you know what, Grenash, I'm I'm gonna. Oh, see, I got choices here. But do I make the right choice or do I make the bad choice? I can take it. The right choice. Okay, you know what, Grenache? I'll back you up. Fuck, does a 17 hit? No. You can still this, spend this, your bonus action. True, which I can use to Misty Step away, because fuck this. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm going to just uh, Misty Step into this corner. Uh, Protodor's Light is here, though. Yeah, I I'm, mm, I'm aware. All right. <laughs> and that is outside of Guardian of Faith range, so no worries there. Oh, Prodigal's light. No, you misty step. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I wasn't worried about, but yeah, okay. Just gonna chill here then. It's my home now. It's made for me. Yes. Um, got a warlock. She is up in your grill. She is. She is. Uh, I've got a couple options here. I need to figure out what I actually want to do. Wait, what the fuck happened to Lorem? Uh, the fuck out? he got fucked up by this guy. This, this okay. guy. <laughs> I was not paying enough attention, clearly. Uh, okay, so who... Hmm. Okay, hang on. I can potentially set up the fucking god tier, um... Uh... 
um, thing again. Thing again, yeah. Because they're all within 30 of this square. And I can just uh, Misty step over there. How, uh, how much distance does he, do you get with, with Misty Step? Well, I can't Misty 30. Step all the way there, but Misty Step is... Um, it's it's like 30. A... Uh, but you cannot cast two leveled spells in one round. Oh, but I'm not, I don't cast Misty Step. I, I use it as But you can use a... your, yeah, your racial ability. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that because I, I can use the racial ability to get like there or whatever and then walk a little bit further. All right. That is in range of the Guardian of Faith. True. But hopefully I can kill the person who's controlling it. Ah, you know, you only live once, right? Um, right Misty geez. Step. Oh, no, wait, but I can end up somewhere different anyway. Wait, hold on. How, how does What does the Guardian of Faith do? Uh, as soon as you move into a square that it protects, that is within 10 feet of it, you oh. must make a dexterity saving throw. And what happens if I fail? 20 damage. 20 damage. But it doesn't stop me from doing what I want to do, right? No. Okay. Stop yeah. you. I can, I'm good at dexterity. I'll probably be fine. Really rolls a one. Um, <laughs> I mean, I rolled a. What was it? Two earlier? Yeah. That's probably good enough, right? Yeah. Probably. yeah. You okay. take 10 damage. Oh, right. Okay. Damage for... Oh, well. Uh, it's worth it. And then I will. Curling Blades. That's uh, just a flesh wound. And then I'll go ahead and use a uh, another steel wind strike and hit all four of the people who are standing up and probably just the uh, the statue as well. Can't lose sight of the real goal here. All right. Uh, like last time, roll damage first and tell me the order you're attacking yep. in. 6d10. Wow, that is a good roll. Damn. <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, once again, I will go clockwise, starting with the person next to the dead wizard. The warlock. Yes. And then the cleric, then the statue, then the guy who's lost some health, then the girl who hasn't lost much. Um, uh, so 1d20 plus 10. That's good. That's good. That's, that's probably good. not good. Whatever, wow. that's the least important one. Oh, that's bad. Miss, and that's miss. good. Okay, so you missed the statue and the armor champion. Yes. The rest take... 47 damage. Mm-hmm. Which, incidentally... Knocks out both spellcasters. Nice. God damn it. Yeah. Probably for the best. Um. So he was about to cast Cure Mass Wounds. <laughs> oh, nice. And does that get rid of the armor champion then? Or the, yes, what, no, the sorry. Of the Guardian of Faith. I, that's, oh. that's what I meant. Um. Oh. I really is going to teleport over here. Hey, Lily. Finally, the perfect fight for Aurelia's abilities. <laughs> All right. The statue finally hits someone. It's the armor champion. For... Really terrible damage. Wow. Whoa. Damn. Hoofa doofa. That's my level's bad rolling. <laughs> that's that's pretty atrocious. That's, yeah, that is impressively bad. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all D12s. Yeah. I'm right. three ones and a two. <laughs> I'm gonna go after the person who's less armored. Yep. 
Pull that up. Shit. That's a crit. <laughs> Crits are nice. Oh, uh, it's an 18 hit? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, 4d10 plus 15 plus 13. 55 points of damage. Alright. Um, and then I move uh, closer to Borum, so 5, 10, 15, 25, 30. Okay. Alright. Um, yeah, Armor Champion's turn. Going after uh, Grenache. Yep. Alright, he actually gets three attacks. Nope. Damn. N nothing above a 10. <laughs> <laughs> I think just in general, I've been rolling terrible. Alright, and uh, Weapon Champion's turn. Let's see if she can hit. Oh, but um, yeah, first... She gets her second wind. <laughs> okay, the 26 on 30 would. Alright. She is below half her health, so she doesn't get the full attack bonus. What the fuck kind of fighter is she? <laughs> it... Probably a great weapon. Okay. An NPC kind. Okay. And that's both attacks combined? Yes. Okay. Uh, give me one second. Uh, minus five. Not, not 252. Um, <laughs> oh no, Grenache has been turned into atoms. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure Grenache was already made of atoms. Uh, separated items. All right. Incidentally, Lorm is at one succe successful and one failed uh, death saving throw. Oh, yeah, someone should probably. Um, I'm um, getting there. I'm, Give me a second. I'm kind of occupied. Also, I need to make two con rolls. Okay, that's a definite success. All right. And so is that. Okay. <laughs> You good. And those are saving throws, by the way. Uh, what? Yeah, uh, well, I don't have proficiency anyway, so. No right. constitution. As a monk, someday you might. Maybe. That's right now. That's how it is. I never good roll, so my uh, shield of the face stays up. Mm hmm. Your turn. Alrighty. Right, well. I want to carve a path, and the quickest way to that, I think, is to this one. <laughs> Finally, some good rolls. <laughs> Finally, some good rolls! Hey! Look at that. That's max damage. That is max yeah. damage. So you can take a few more, though. Yep. That'll hit. 23, yeah. Yeah, I think my 18 hit earlier. Hmm. I can afford it. Let's go. 14. Miss. Okay. And I'll miss as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a bullshit, but okay. Lily, what are you up to? It's a good question. <laughs> um, let's see. Pick this asshole. Or pick... hmm. Yeah, you would get sneak attack bonus. Oh, even if you see, don't have where's... advantage. I, I caught 
What? Uh, you would uh, get your sneak attack bonus against either of those two fighters. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where Protodor's light is. Around here. Okay. And that would be about... So yeah, okay, if you so I could... use your bonus action to dash, you would be able to grab it and get up to uh, the front line. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do so I can fight the Protector of Faith. Or no, I forget. The Armor Champion, that was it. Fucking dumb names. Ugh. <laughs> so, well, yeah. Let's... They're just nicknames because one of them has glowing armor, the other one has a glowing sword. Well, either way, I'm going to pick up my sword and just go to right here. Okay, I'll delete it then. All right. So Grenache can still have fun with that one in front, but uh, let's see. And then I'll fucking roll for this boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay, so let's see that. The one thing I've been over for all bloody night. So let's see. Let's roll. 2d10. I, I think plus. you're gonna turn him into like a fine mist at this point. That's a bobbin. <laughs> Apparently, he was not expecting you to jump in like that. Let's see, plus 13 because I am fucking rip shit after getting <laughs> banished and then not be able to kill the lady I wanted to kill. 7d6. All right. Wait, isn't the sneak attack damage also doubled? Dice also double. Oh shit! You're right. Yeah. Uh, I, for some reason, my brain blanked. So that's seven. Uh, let's see. Roll seventy-six. So yeah, that's. About, uh, I was about to say that doesn't really do. 84. Yeah, it's eighty-four. I just slapped that man for eighty-four damage. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite enough, but you think you've uh, sunk your blade into something vital. I wish I sunk it into something more vital. <laughs> Aurelia. Um, yeah, so. Hmm. What do I want to do here? These guys are pretty low. Um. I could try to insult one of them to death if I don't want to use the spell slot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 60 foot range. Uh, what do you shout? Yeah, I'll I'll use I'll use vicious mockery just for fun on um the which one? Did someone ping that guy because they want me to hit him? Uh, just out of fun. Sword champion, armor champion, sword champion's the lady. Um. Let's see where I really can get to. There. Not that she needs to get closer, but probably better to be closer. Um. Yeah, I'm really just gonna sort of like start sarcastically talking about what a great plan this was like oh man you guys just picked the absolute best time to attack well done well done um uh you yeah, on, on the uh armor champion all right roll damage uh it's not that much damage Oh, the real benefit is that it's a disadvantage on the yes. next attack roll. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, not that they'll be live alive long enough to take advantage of that. I plan on uh, killing both be. of them. I plan on killing both of them. Well, we'll, well, we'll see we'll, whether it works. We'll see what the statue does. Well, okay, fair <laughs> enough. We'll see what the statue does. Well, it misses the first time. And it misses the other time. I plan on killing <laughs> both of them. Okay, but I mean, you're not guaranteed you could roll I know, badly, I so. know. 
Yeah. And that was free. It didn't that's why I you suddenly didn't cast the spell. Yeah, Part of yeah, me yeah, yeah. wishes you would roll wrong for how fucking Hey, hey, guess what? I still have three uses of lucky, so even if I do miss, guess what I don't do? Okay, why don't you just roll? Yeah. Uh advantage. I'm attacking um armor guy first because I fucking Well he's up. Next, uh so. I'm gonna lucky. Or, that. Well, I guess I'm gonna lucky it. Up. Give me a second. They all go on a giant pile. I this is a twenty four hit. Yes. Do you get to re-roll both when you do lucky? Not that it matters. No, no, but... you just re-roll one and I choose which one to replace it. Uh, so yeah. D so, 10 plus you, 5. You would naturally re-roll the lower yeah. of the two guns. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he takes 11 damage. Wait what, wait, what was that first roll there? Uh, that was I the... Saw, I saw two Eldritch Blasts. Um, the first Eldritch Blast was my adva- one with advantage, and then I used Lucky, because I missed, I think. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a 19 miss is armor yeah. champion. Yeah, so I I rolled a 24 as a the replacement. He's fucking right. dead. All right, uh, next up are two Eldritch Blasts at the Sword Lady, so 27 and... 27, so roll 2d10 plus 10 plus 13. 34 damage. That does it. Like I said, I plan on killing both of them. <laughs> you may now switch back to the Tibetan. Uh, C- could you just stop stealing my fucking kills for like two singing seconds? Roll music. Make me. I'm going to roll lo- lower uh, 30 feet. So You forget I know where you sleep. I don't sleep! Exactly. <laughs> so, are you going to do anything about Lorem here before he bleeds out? Uh, yeah, I'm. That's what, what I'm doing. That's why I'm. That's why I'm lowering thirty feet because if uh, Grunash can't get to him before gonna, I can, then I can just heal him for a couple hit points. Gonna do a sweet sky pour. I'm listening to this instead because I feel like it. <laughs> it's a really good song. Mm, I'll stick with Shadow Hearts. Oh, Lorem stabilizes himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, I could have hey, hey! <laughs> remember when you told? Time. Remember when Lily told yelled at Lorem to stop bleeding out? Apparently, he took that advice to heart. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was the one who saved Lorem. <laughs> <laughs> you got something to your name, at least in this. <laughs> but uh, at this point, the statue is actually going to stop moving, and you hear the voice, the booming voice again. It says, "This interruption was not intended." Are you going to make us restart? But. And it should not have been possible either. Even through teleportation, mortals are not supposed to be able to enter through the barrier. Unless I will it. And I did not will them to come in. Um, yeah. Uh, if they were working for... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Nevertheless, by defeating them, you have proven... Your abilities in combat. I'm gonna kick the, uh, the, the armor lad's corpse. <laughs> the the form of the trial must still be followed, but the statues will not fight back now, as you destroy them. Ah, oh, it just feels cheap now. Says so you. The one that is active, actively just kneels down. Look, hey, I'm gonna fly down and I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking heal Lorem for like two hit points. I can just do that. I can just heal him for two hit points. <laughs> I'd be a dick to give him only one. So. I'm just gonna wail on the statue, but I'm not gonna like it. <laughs> he gets up, not in the face. 
It's okay. It's okay. They're all dead now. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. We passed the test, technically. We still have to destroy the statues, but, uh, but... Lily's taking care of that. Yeah, Lily's, Lily's taking care of it. Uh, oh, Ono said that we basically passed. We just have to observe the rights it's, of the... It's not uh, yeah. us. It's the spirit of this oh, place. The spirit, yeah, the spirit of the spirit of the place said that, you know, we, we basically passed, but... I'm oh. glad you took my advice. Yeah, he told, he told you to stop bleeding out, and lo and behold, you stopped bleeding out? By yourself? That's good. Did you <laughs> see where my notes went? Uh, I'd go over uh, and I'd get his notes. Fell. I'm no, I'm sorry. I get his fucking notes because he is my friend, and I'm the only <laughs> one here who likes him. Okay, but that they would have fallen a while ago is the problem. <laughs> well, you can roll investigation. Oh yeah. Let me roll that. Investigation. I'm going to try and help with that. Fairly good at. I'm busy wailing on a statue. Yeah, that one doesn't last much longer. Because so. y'all are too fucking lazy. Yeah, I figured you wanted to get something. So some no, I hate good. it. This is boring now. This is boring <laughs> to me. So eventually the spirit comes out and inhabits the last statue as the booming voice and tongues. The last... I'm gonna start smacking it before he says anything. <laughs> <laughs> the last uh, aspect of Onos is Onos the Enlightened. When the duties of the material world have passed on to his children, Onos st stood aside and focused on his own inner demons. Mastering them, he became truly enlightened and escaped the cycle of violence and pain. Man, it's weird. I'm at peace with my inner demons and that makes me violent. <laughs> Only you. Only you. No. Uh, Lake, you do manage to find most of the notes, or at least pretty much all the ones that didn't fall off, all the way off, into the uh, misty abyss below you. I'm sorry, I couldn't save your doodles of the naked ladies in the uh, in the garden. Lorem is grateful, but limping, as he uh, finishes off a few sketches of this area. Maybe you want to drink a potion over there? I'm going to check these, for lack of a better term, uh, assholes, yeah, and I'll, see what they got. I want to loot, loot the warlock, specifically. Uh, wait for me before you start looting. I need to beat up this statue that y'all are too fucking lazy to fight. Nope, nope, I'm looting the warlock. You will <laughs> die. Why do any bards for me to loot? Oh well. <laughs> you will fucking die. Nope. Uh, actually, um, we don't actually normally fight people that we can really loot of stuff, so. Yeah, yeah let's rummage around their pockets. Um, <laughs> well, fucking whatever, I'm done with this statue. <laughs> I'm looking at sword lady. <laughs> Well, in all fairness, there's a lot of simultaneity uh, going on, and you do find... Uh, <clears throat> and taking care of the statue doesn't take long with your sword and with the thing just sort of opening itself up. For yeah, just hold his mouth, you just... just this look oh. of absolute disgust on Lily's face as she has to beat up the statues. <laughs> so well, bored with this already. You do find magic items. One on each oh. of them. Yeah. What's mine? What's my cool shit? Well, the champions, as described, have a plus two armor and plus two sword. Wait, uh, what specifically, kind? full plate armor mm. and great sword. Mm. Boring. Because sometimes enemies don't come with 
magic items that you can use. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna sell those later. Hey, yeah, I've never know. Like <laughs> that time we encountered come from enemies. I just yeah, wanna... like that time we encountered a fucking legendary item. You piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's clear that out. Just gonna drop these in the hole. Fucking done. <laughs> All right. Um. Also, I'm gonna. The mm -hmm. warlock is wearing a very creepy robe. <laughs> it's creepy <laughs> because it is covered in eyes. Eh. Huh. Wait, like, wait. When you say covered in eyes, drawings of eyes. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. that's not eh. nearly as creepy. <laughs> as the yeah, other like, possible. Meaning. I was all. I was already <laughs> kind of eh about it. But now I'm especially eh about it. I take it. It's mine now. <laughs> Well, hold on, we don't know what it does. Find out, it's fine. Well, yeah, hey, I but I mean, find out. it might not even be... Whatever. Well, what about would, the... If you would all make a notation about it, Lorem will identify everything once you get back to the ship. Okay. Once sure. I have that? So, until then, I recommend you just put it in the magic item pool. Yeah, this and everything fair. else I'm about to describe. All right. Yeah, I thought I'd identify as well, so, you know. You must have volunteered to do that. I'll do it, yep. So, robe, cover... Well, it's just that you've got the last trial to deal with right now. Yep. Okay. Look. Also, do we notice any worms next to them? Um, yes, actually. Yep, start stomping on that shit. Yep. They've all got about, um, three to six worms each, if you bother counting. Mm, that seems like a large number of worms. They should really go see a vet about that. Well, okay. Well, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Put okay, well, down. the worms are out and dead now, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so what was on her first? Let's assume we put it away. Um, I am writing this into the magic item pool myself just to make it a little faster. Oh, okay. I I just did the just rope. want I just want to know. So once we've got that squared away, I can drag her body and throw her off the cliff. Yep. Yeah, okay. I've added in. I've added it into the magic item pool at the bottom. Yep. Okay. Great sword plus two, full plate armor plus two, robe of eyes, a staff from the wizard, and a ring from the uh, war priest. Hey, wait, yeah, doesn't Aurelius' with girlfriend use his full plate armor and great swords? <gasps> oh my god, you're a genius. She uses medium armor and she has Fuck. a better sword. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Also, she wouldn't, yeah, she wouldn't use full plate armor because she's a ranger. Oh yeah, that's right. That's she's right. actually got a feat for medium armor. That's how she's able to sneak in medium. Oh, nice. As I said, I'm dragging the war priest off the cliff. <laughs> I will help. Well, okay, let's not like defile this. Um, I'm place. defiling the corpse. She pissed me off. Yeah, she she took my friends away from me. Well, like, okay, so maybe we should. Day. You know, we are we are guests here. Let's maybe. Nope. Maybe Already over the cliff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's maybe ask what they wanted us to do, but. Whatever. Perhaps a more honor honorable end for them than they deserve, but expedient. Like, it's satisfying for me to like her off the cliff, and that's all I need in life. <laughs> you drop them into the sky from the Holy Temple, so this is actually a proper way of disposing of bodies. As it I'm turns not going to let tell Lily that. I'm not going to tell Lily that. <laughs> I'm going to use her angrier. I'm going to the, the use my. Voice just told you that. I'm going to use just my now. incredible buff arms <laughs> from magic buff buffing arms to just toss the rest of them over because I don't right. want them like. What's the next trial, please? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want their stink defiling this place. Yes, and. Uh... As you're doing all of this, by the way, you notice the spirit keeps popping back and forth between the statues, and as it does so, they seem to regain some of their old um, their old shape. They rebuild themselves. 
and maybe I shouldn't have shot the spirit. Their, return to their posts along the edges of this uh, chamber. I didn't travel far at all, so... Still wonder what would have happened, though. If you will cross the bridge that is beyond the temple, you will ascend to the palace, and there before it, you will uh, undergo your final trial. Hell yeah. Let's go. Sure. Check. <coughs> the final trial is the trial of Onos the Enlightened. Embrace the sky. Embrace Lord Onos. I hug Enter me into him. Ooh, and okay, he that's... will carry you. But entrust you yourselves to him. Enter the sky. I and cast... you will have completed the final trial. I cast fly on both me and Grunash, because I know Grunash cannot cast this has no way of flying. Uh, I can also do it at for one other person. Lily, congratulations, you get a free T-pose. Just already annoyed. <laughs> and I, I, I start flying up. Somehow I feel like it's more complicated than that, but I thought it was more of a trust fall thing. Yeah, yeah I'm trust falling in reverse. I'm trust, I'm trust rising. It's what you're doing is literally the opposite of trust. <laughs> yeah. Um so, it... so where are we exactly? You are what you see in the image right here. There is a massive palace at one end of this valley that rises up into the sky before you, and in front of it is a vast pool. Seems empty and clear and Without a single ripple of wind to oh shit, actually we just yeah, jump mar the, the surface. Yeah, we, let's just jump into the pool. Yeah, I'm gonna tee yeah, pose into the water. Yeah, let's let's I jump into the pool. I don't I don't fly. I land and I jump in. I tee pose into the pool. You can't stop me. I mean, you can tee pose dive. No, that's just a belly flop. <laughs> okay. Do all of you choose to do this? Uh, can I roll insight to figure out the mystery? <laughs> I don't know. What would an appropriate thing? Would any appropriate? Would there be an appropriate thing to roll here? Well, you could make an intelligence roll for a hint. Okay. And I could do that. Well, this trial is probably not going to assume that everyone has the ability to fly. Well, since yeah. The people here, <laughs> since this place was built by humans. Embrace the sky. The sky's reflected in the pool. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Jump in the pool. Sure. Uh, really, it's going to maybe... Uh, well, no, it's fine. Just jump in the pool. I guess I follow along. All right. Lorm state stands back, though. He's afraid of getting all of his recently recovered sweat. I push him in. Sweat. <laughs> no, I, I don't. <laughs> oh, I don't push him I mean, in. I could just offer him jumped. the portable hole, but you know. You've already... He posed your way into the pool. <laughs> I know, exactly. Why would I help lower him? <laughs> I mean, Aurelia's got all her valuable stuff in her bag anyway, so. Yeah. 
I assume nobody's, the bed holding is waterproof. Nobody's oh, yeah. willing to help Laura. <laughs> I mean, if it's not, it, that would raise a lot of. I don't have any so. way to help Laura. Laura is chosen. All Notes right. are more important than gaining uh, enlightenment, it seems. So, did we pass the test, or did we just all get ourselves soaked for no reason? You plunge into the water that turns out to be far deeper than how it looked, although it was a bit hard to tell what with the mirrored reflection of the surface. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, when you fall into the pool, you feel as if there is some force pulling you further down against the natural uh, buoyancy buoyancy of your bodies. I hate Fair. this already. Does it feel wet? It does. Okay. <laughs> is water wet? <laughs> well, you know, hey, look, it could be one of those things where it turns out it's not actually water. But as the pull continues, eventually the point comes where you have to uh, let go of the breath you are holding. Uh, an awkward way for the adventure to end. <laughs> um. And after you do, you notice that the bubbles just sort of don't rise up to the surface in a big clump like normal, but they just sort of expand and balloon out and the feeling of wetness of being surrounded by water of being crushed by the increasing depths fades away cool. and the lightness uh, and the darkness of the water fades away until it seems as if you are floating through a blue sky and not in a pool Hey, you know what? This is a market improvement. Yes, yes, we get it. You hate water. No, I hate deep water. There's a difference. I mean, with your height, any water is deep water. You want to lose your legs? Because this is how you lose your legs. <laughs> and eventually, the point comes when you... Your sense of up and down is confused... And finally, you realize that you are not falling, but rising. And the last vestiges of liquid fall away as you surface. And the ground beneath you seems less than an inch deep of water now. You have come to an, a new surface. Hmm somewhere that looks remarkably like where you came from. Have we achieved enlightenment? No, we're in the mirror world. As long as but we didn't is... fall into like the, the world blank one. But there is one distinct difference. Or rather two. First is that Lorem is not by the railing where you left him. And second is that that pagoda in front of the palace, the doors are now open. Hell yeah, let's go. I walk in. in. Yeah. That's where the enlightenment is hidden. I don't think it's a physical that. You know what? Never mind. I'll let you figure that out for yourself. None of us are even close to enlightenment, except for maybe Grun Ash. Okay. Grash is still too worldly, though. Set in the center of the pagoda, on a pedestal, placed vertically, is a large rod with two flanged ends and studs along its length. It is, it appears to be made out of blue steel, and the studs are variously white, gray, and black. I want to touch it. I'm going to touch it. You can't stop me from touching it. I'm not stopping you from touching it. It's cold to the touch, 
as expected from a metal item. It doesn't fee- fill you with any sort of power or radiance just from touching it. I hold it. You have to um, pry, apply a little bit of force to pull it up out of its um, out of the basin that was holding it. But aside from that, it comes out easily enough. I love it. This is this is my friend now. It doesn't feel magic, but it's my friend now. Um, gonna swing it around a little bit. Really kind of looks around, expecting the voice to say something. Uh, Ganache is actually looking around cautiously like this. This feels off. Did we pass? Hello? You have passed. Cool. Cool. And the artifact is yours. When you leave the pagoda, you will again return to the normal world. And you will never again be able to visit this space. So you're saying I need to go back to the trash dragon? What? The trash dragon. The awful, awful dragon who probably sick those. Well, no, actually, probably didn't. That was no, those one. were the worm. Yeah, that's which is probably how they got through was some yeah, hell or I mean, I'm sorry. Were you under the impression that the alternative was living out our entire lives here and never leaving? Because I mean, any way of leaving would involve going back to the dragon. This so. this, this place is too boring for Lily. No. All right. It's more like the, the um, time here has come to an end. So, is there a specific way you want us to use this, or, or like a, a purpose for it? Is it is that the something winds, we have to figure out? The winds have guided you to this place. Debatable. You have proven your worth in the eyes of Onos by passing his trials. However, you use his artifact, it is in his name. The stick is strong, my friend. All right. Well, um, does it come with an instruction manual? When you attune to it, you will understand what it can do. All right. Uh, as, as is normal for magic items. Just that's guess. that's fair. Um, who wants to be the first to attune to it? I will be the first to attune to it. It is I, strong, and my friend. I kind of saw that coming. Yeah, I mean, I did too. I wouldn't mind just because Aurelia could use some more decent magic items. I mean, to be fair, I'm not saying I'm sticking with it. Yeah. It's just so we know what it does. Yeah. So, now that the trials are over, are you going to just sort of take some time to make a short... to take a short rest to cast Identify on all your items? And... By the way, when you exit the pagoda, you will see Lorm just sort of standing there, wondering how the hell you got over there. Hey, Lorm, mm-hmm. I got a cool stick. Hey, Lorm, we finished it. We're, we're done. We're done. I'm we sorry go. that uh, we achieved enlightenment without you. We did I'm not sure you'll, achieve you'll enlightenment. I think <laughs> well, is just we, talking out of the ass again. If we achieved enlightenment, why do I still want so much stuff? Lorm is scribbling furiously. And uh, for that matter, he will be able to identify this stuff for you as well. He's a diviner, after all. Yeah. I could do it as well, too. So, yeah, we're not in a huge rush. I mean, Aurelia wants to get back out to Silky. Uh, Doesn't want to leave her alone with the dragon, even though, you know, if she were taking bats, (laughs) she'd probably take Silky. Um, All right. But but, uh, we we can take a short rest, for sure. Yes. And between Grenache and... um, and Lorm, you're able to just sort of double time all of the magic items. Oh yeah, and everybody can get extra healing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can use your you, you, heal. you can use your hit dice to heal. Let me just. Why would you ever heal? Who needs to heal? Let me just move you uh, back to the temple uh, the so you can breath. see what your current hit points are. And I short rest so I fully recover my uh, my key. I don't know about you guys. I'm fucking yeah. aces. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> so yeah, you can add a d10 to whatever you heal. All right, song of healing. 
Uh, let's see. Yes, so... Um, shoot, what did I want to do? Alright, so first thing you do is you confirm that the great sword and the full plate armor are plus two bonuses, or however characters justify that sort of thing in story. Yeah. <laughs> Magically enhanced. <laughs> the other thing... Other things you identify include the robe of eyes, which is uh, gives you. It allows you to see through all of the eyes on the robe, so that you can see in all directions at once, and you get advantage on perception checks that rely on sight. You get dark vision out to 120 feet, and you can see invisible creatures and objects, and into the ethereal plane. Mine up to a range of 120 feet. Somebody get it else does, can take this stupid belt. It does require attunement. Yep. Somebody else can have this belt. I want that. Sure. Does that replace your armor? Um. Or can you wear it, it over your arm? It would. You would wear it over your armor. Oh, fair. So I'm gonna put the belt of giant strength in there and wear it. Put it in robe of eyes. What about the uh, the ring? Well, uh, let me just go in order here. Oh, sure. Because Sorry. the staff is the staff of thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening. Galileo, <laughs> Galileo. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. That's and uh, if the poor wizard had gotten more than one turn, he would have just smashed you guys with this thing. <laughs> Because, first of all, it is a magic quarter staff with a plus two bonus. And it allows you to um, deal 2d6 extra lightning damage to targets that you hit. Uh, or you can have it emit a crack of thunder. And um, the target is stunned until the end of your next turn. DC 17 Constitution. Or you can fire out a bolt of lightning. Basically, like the spell at a uh, fourth level. Or you can use a thunderclap. And uh, every creature within 60 feet of you, not including you, makes a Constitution saving throw. And if they fail, they be they take two d six thunder damage and become deafened for one minute. And the last thing they can do is thunder and lightning to have both things happen at once, out of its own separate daily slot. Like uh, lightning huh. bolt, thunder clap, thunder and lightning are each one daily use. Ooh. I mean, I wonder if that would just be better for Aurelia than using her sword. Probably. Uh, on the other hand, if she does want a melee attack, it's probably not as good. Well, the lightning and thunder melee hits are only once each also. Once right. per day each. Yeah. Yeah, but well, like, I mean, how often do you really melee, get like, into yeah, the thick like, of really things? Doesn't use melee. Okay, uh, I really, I'll have to think about that one. Um, is that in one of the books somewhere? If I want to review, just because that oh, was yeah, a lot this of is, words. This is all DMG stuff. Okay, I'll I'll maybe check it later then. And the ring. Ah, uh, yes. The ring is the Ring of Shooting Stars. It has six charges. It can cast Fairy Fire as one charge. And it can create lightning balls surrounding you and then just that just sort of zap um, whatever's next to it. Hmm. It's uh, 
it's a bit complicated. I can't just summarize it. it you would have to... Yeah, that's fine. But it requires attunement, I'm sure. It, it does. And it has to be attuned outdoors at night, so you couldn't even do it right now. Well, I'm... I like that the wizard had a robe specifically to counter me, and then everybody except me started ganging up on her. Actually, it was the warlock. That's, that what, I meant. The the war the, that's, that's mm. what I meant, the warlock. And, uh, I don't know you're talking about. I didn't do shit. True. The last thing the Ring of Shooting Stars can do is fire out shooting stars. Huh. Each creature within a 15-foot cube originating from that point, from one to three shooting stars, must make a dexterity saving throw or take 5d4 fire damage. Hmm. What you're saying is, if I'm in the middle of a group with that grade, that could be Man, I kind of damage. hate attunement. Like, I understand why it exists, but... Hmm. Yeah, we have so much cool <laughs> shit that we can't really use, because it's like, oh, you only get three slots. Yeah, I feel like you should get more as you go up in level, but I guess you just yeah. get better stuff instead. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, essentially the Ring of Shooting Stars is a good, um... Good for a character that doesn't other otherwise get area of effect spells. Yeah, so not really. really. <laughs> so me, but I don't want it. <laughs> yeah, me, but I got other shit to attune to. Hmm. All right. Um. So are we stopping there, or are we gonna also go out before the end of the session? Um, we'll stop here, but first, there's the one last magic item. Oh. Or artifact i should say oh, yeah. oh right. yeah, yeah 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 the big the thing, thing we the the whole thing we came down here to get the whole shebang the rod of lord onos's might which is a rod of lordly might plus one the rod of lordly might has six buttons along its length just using it on its own, it is a plus three mace. Press button one, and it becomes a flame tongue. So it does extra fire damage, but the bonus goes down to plus one. Press button two, and it becomes a plus three battle axe. Press button three, and it becomes a uh, plus three spear. Press button four, and it becomes a 50-foot climbing pole. Huh. And, uh, but it does need to be anchored at both ends. However, it can carry up to 4,000 pounds. Press button five, and it becomes a battering ram that gets gives you a plus 10 strength bonus when trying to break down doors <laughs> and other barriers. And okay. if you press button six, it reverts to its normal form, and it is also a compass. <laughs> mm -hmm. And an altimeter. Also, it has other stuff, too. And then it has three special abilities that you can do. When you hit a creature, you can uh, drain life, deal necrotic damage, and gain half that many hit points. Second thing you can do if, when you hit someone, um, force them to make a strength saving throw or be paralyzed for one minute. Essentially like hold person, but any target. And the third thing is terrify to force every creature you see within 30 feet of you to make a wisdom saving throw or be frightened for one minute. All of these are DC 17 and they're daily. And because this is a unique artifact, it has one more ability that is not on the list. Mm -hmm. The last thing is the Hand of Onos. Which is that the target must save DC 17 strength or be tossed 3d6 times 10 feet in the direction of the user's choice. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty nice. <laughs> That's also once a day, I assume. Yes. So it's basically the big old thought power. 
But as an artifact, it also has one disadvantage. As long as you are attuned to the rod of Lord Onos's might, you have disadvantage on dexterity checks and saving throws. Because you gotta there toss is a this constant, out the window. <laughs> because there is a constant wind buffeting around you, and only you. I don't know who oh. wants it, but it's not me. I'm tossing the nah, shit out the window. I'm good. Yeah, I was gonna say this would be strictly better for Aurelia than her, um, uh, you know, her current sword, because it can literally just turn into a better version of her current sword and a bunch of other stuff. But it also makes her bad at dexterity, which is. Uh, I mean, dexterity is my entire thing, so I literally. Yeah, I, I get that. no benefits from this thing. I'm not <laughs> a melee though. I'm not a melee person, so I have no interest in it. Yeah, like Aurelia right. is the only person that's. Or. Yeah, like because I need shit like finesse. <laughs> so sorry, Bubba, Can you can you repeat the downside again? Um, so long as you are attuned to it, you are constantly buffeted by a strong wind that causes you to have disadvantage on dexterity checks and saving throws. And I'm guessing if you don't attack, But not attacks. Anything with it. No. Right, not... Yeah, but... Not attacks. It's got a... That also that seems path. like just it would be very annoying in character. <laughs> Well, it is a dramatic wind. See, that's why you put on a cloak. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. So it's like a cool <laughs> wind. So like it makes it like... Yeah, that's why you it's, need a cloak. So it's, your hair it's like your a cloak cape of oh, in the wind. A cape, I will constantly have like a billowing cape behind yes, me. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay, well, fucking Aurelia is using this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you it's... can keep it. Wait, when you wait, hold on, dexterity does that does that include skill checks that are just dexterity skills or just strictly it's saving throws? I, I thought I said checks and saving throws. Oh. So that is all skill checks as well. Uh, well, the then only again, this, you never fucking get me to roll acrobatics, and it's just acrobatics and stealth as yeah. dexterities. Oh, and sleight of hand. I never used that. Yeah. No. At well, least that's more. Yes, yeah, so I'm taking it. At also, music. this is too it's, cool. It's the fucking rod of lordly might. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. They have teams yeah. Fitting through already, actually. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess the, uh, I guess good old firelight is going back in the family vault. Yeah, you can <laughs> also really... uh, put the bat. You can also put the belt in the family vault again. I don't need it anymore. Just uh, Lily gets on one knee the, and hands, was, hands was, over the mace. Is the family vault just what you call your bag of holding? Uh, <laughs> no, Aurelia would not carry such valuable things around if she were not using them. Um, uh, she actually will carry the belt of giant strength around, though, uh, just because she probably wears it sometimes for fun. All right, don't forget to adjust your strong. character sheets and the magic item pool. Yep. I need to yep. adjust. Um, Nothing. A quick, quick question about, uh, sorry, the rod. Can Aurelia just keep it in sword mode? Like, there, there is no sword mode. Yeah, there, there is. is. Yeah, there is. It's, but, but it's called flame tongue. tongue. It's flame tongue. Yeah, flame tongue. And, a flame uh, tongue is a sword. Yeah. I mean, it's just that it's kind of on fire. Uh, and oh, okay. Well, because part of the reason I asked is because technically for flame tongue, you have to use a bonus action to set it on fire. So, like, I was wondering if I had to, like, if I couldn't turn it into a flame tongue and have it go on pressing fire. Pressing the, the button is a bonus action, right? And that will turn it into a, and it will set it. That will set it on fire immediately. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, in in that case, that's fine. I was just wanted to. Yeah. All right. Uh, the question I got is regarding the um, like bonus. It has plus one. In as that far case. as I'm concerned, when you press the button to turn it into a flame tongue, that also sets it on fire. All right, that's what would that's be the fair, point. Then. Well, uh, I've got a question about the uh, the healing thing. Is that is that an extra D10 for each uh, for each hit dice spent, or is it just one D10? No, it's just an extra d10 as you are healing. Okay. Like for the short, it's what you get for the short rest, basically. Like man, okay. so, I love a new weapon, but I have very specific needs. 
Um, and you, wait. you do get to add your constitution bonus. Oh, right. Uh, okay, so that's three of those ones. All right, so, Bobbin, real quick, I just want to make sure I got all the features of my uh, robe. It's a dark vision, 120 oh, feet. I can see in all directions. I have advantage on perception check that requires sight. I can see invisible creatures of objects and into the ethereal plane. Up to 120 feet for those as well. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. And, Got it all. Um, oh, yeah. Um, there are two disadvantages, which mm -hmm. is that you will never be able to close or avert your eyes if you come up against an enemy that that would be helpful against. Okay. And if someone casts light or daylight on you, it will really hurt. <laughs> okay. I'm so excited for when Lake gets murdered by a Gorgon. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking turbo murder. Um, all right. Uh, sorry, one quick uh, clarification about it. You said that it, it it has plus one, so when it's a when it's when it's doing okay, because the rod of loyalty might it seems like a bad deal if you like swords because it. <laughs> It gives a plus three to attack and damage rolls for all of its forms, except for the fucking uh, sword. Except for the flame tongue, because you are dealing a whole bunch of extra damage. Yeah, I suppose that's fair. But yeah, essentially, extra. but yeah, aside from that, you get like a plus three. It does have a plus three slashing version of itself. Uh, you mean the battle axe? Yeah, and in this case, the yeah, flame... but I'm not proficient with martial weapons. Well, the uh, the other thing is that this would not be a finesse flame tongue like yours is. Oh, it wouldn't. No, it'd be a long sword flame tongue. <sighs> well, I am proficient with long swords. And I could just wear the belt. Yeah, you could just wear the belt. <laughs> it's free. Well, it's not free. It does, it, you have to attune to the belt, don't you? Well, I mean, it's just been freed up. Yeah. Right. <sighs> like, I wore it as a joke until something better came along. And let me tell you, this robe is much better. It is IMO. Better. Yeah. Uh, this rod is starting to seem like not the best deal, to be honest. No, it's not good for really anyone in this party. It's great. <laughs> um, we kind of just got fucking shafted by a god. <laughs> Here's Which, a weapon you that know, nobody ever really... as it ever was, really, but... Which is kind of ironic, considering it's a rod. <laughs> Shaf shafted by a rod. With a, With a flanged end. Ooh. A wizard staff has a knob at the end. But yeah, because like as I said, for me, I, I would never use it because I have very specific needs from a weapon. Yeah, well, also you're making stealth checks all the time, so. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. But also, well, I have okay. I, I have the much higher floor for my stealth checks, so that's kind of less of an issue. But, uh, no, it's stuff like, like, I, I would never be able to apply backstab with it. Okay, well, Aurelia's gonna hang on to it with the logic of, um, like, she can always, uh, keep it as, like, a backup option. Uh, uh like, she, she can switch in this plus the, 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 the belt if she really thinks she's going to want to be doing like a bunch of melee damage. But otherwise, it doesn't really seem worth it. Okay, I just opened up the the book to a random page, and it's like, other activities we can do while traveling. Foraging, it's like for food or water. And I'm like, I'm sorry, we're so far beyond the point where we need to forage for food and water in this game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm don't pretty give sure Bowman any ideas. I'm pretty sure we can just create food magically. Maybe you can. I think I think Green Ash can. It's not great food, but it's food. 
Are we yeah, sure this isn't point, good though? for Grenache? Like, hold on. Why would this be good for Grenache? Grenache can use... Because Grenache li- relies heavily on deck stuff. Plus he's got... Um, Does he temper. actually have to make dexterity checks, though? Oh, but also he he's got temper. temper. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And temper is slowly growing more powerful. <sighs> why can't I have a weapon like that? <laughs> well, you've, you've got something here. <laughs> I've got a but I have there are so many magic items that are like okay for me. I've got one magic item that's great for my harp, and then I mean, every other magic item is kind of like eh, it's okay. Well, well, welcome to being a bard. Yeah, Jack of all trades. Yeah, yeah. that's so good. I mean, once again, be like me and just have very specific needs. <laughs> I got lucky with the robe, and I've been hoping to replace the boots, but Prodador's Light's done good by me because it fills those needs. But also, it would really be at its element in a rave. I'm tempted to take that ring, actually. All right. All right. well, I'm gonna head on out. Yeah, same. Good night. See you later. Later. Good. Good night.